Hello YouTube, what is up? It is Cloaksphere here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to use Bookworm for LOTC, and basically how to write a book, and uh, how to put them in bookshelves like everyone else has. This is a tutorial for all of the uh, older players and the newer the newer ones. It's uh, up to you if you want to watch it. You don't have to. If you already know what the commands are, then uh, don't even worry about this. But this is just going to be a helpful guide for all the newer players who don't know how to use Bookworm. Because this is... I, I, I know I had questions about making books, and I put in mod requests for it. So today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to do it. So basically, you're going to start off with getting a book which is you know paper and wood and then you're going or it's just paper I'm not even sure anymore um, so when you have the book in your hand or selected you just do slash book worm and that's what it'll give you it'll give you some usage commands then you're gonna go slash book worm help help there we go Ah. There we are. Okay. So as you can see, there's bookworm uh hyphen whatever it is, hyphen read and then the page selected. You can erase whatever text you want or whatever text is inside the book. You can replace text. You can uh, do a completely new title on the book which as you can see my title is right here and that's the book that I am currently holding you can erase all of the books content and just start over and you cannot do these with books that you have not created so if this if these are not your book or if these books are not yours I'm almost positive you cannot if anyone wants to uh, correct me just go on ahead and put a comment because I have never been able to erase anyone other anyone else's book but so let's start off by making a book so let's do slash write or let's do bookworm title what what should we call the title we should just call it tutorial and there we go now if you right click just right click and that's what it'll pop up It'll give your book, and then you can read whatever you typed. So there, that's the basic command to do a title. So let's just uh, let's add some text. So you're just gonna do slash w, or you could do slash write, and then your contents. And then as you can see, or I think it's yeah, you can also just do that. You can also type, and you can toggle that status um, using a uh, a chart that I shall be putting up at the end of this video and a link to the plugin itself if you guys would actually like to go look at the plugin um, but this it, it'll give you a chart I'll give you a chart at the end of the video just to uh, help you guys out and that'll give you guys the base commands so you're gonna do slash w and then let's just have some really long stuff so I can show you some <sighs> commands okay we're just gonna do this so I hope no one actually ends up getting this book because this is gonna be a really big fail I think I'm just gonna have to have this book deleted or set on fire so okay now that we've got some crazy amount of lines as you can see there's two pages now page one of two and that's all my text that I just wrote using all of this so cat get out of here um, so as you can see you do bookworm read page or if you have the book itself you could just right click the book again and it'll give you the second page but and then the command would just be slash bookworm dash read two and that'll give you the page two. erase any given text so let's do slash bookworm 
er erase. Yes. No. Dash erase. And let's just have F. Okay, now let's see what actually erased. Oh, wow. Yeah, it deleted all of the Fs that I had. Uh, or on that pa on that second page. Um, I bet if I did it here, it would delete all of that text. So, as you can see, it erased from page 2. Now there's only one page deleting that text that I wanted. Um, let's see. Replace old text with new text. So, let's do... Slash bookworm replace uh, f f f f f uh, new text q q q q q q uh, okay well whatever that's uh that's basic commands I mean you guys should know how to use that that's pretty obvious on how it is it's very easy to follow title we already did title uh, we can erase all so you just do slash bookworm Erase, erase all. Okay, we're experiencing a little bit of lag here. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then we right-click with the book. Magroka, damn it. Okay, <laughs> making a lag here for a second. Um, as you can see. All the uh, text is completely erased, and we can start fresh with a new book. And all we need to do is just change up the title, and that's basically it. There is no way to stop your name from showing, but if you guys are using it in roleplay terms, and you don't want to know who the creator is, you would put dash by anonymous, like so you wouldn't, so they can't tell because that'd be little bit of meta gaming there or at least from what I would think would be meta gaming and then you could do slash bookworm cancel and because what what slash bookworm dash cancel okay whatever I don't even think we can use those commands I think those are G that one at least is a GM only command but anyways guys here is where I'm gonna put up the list I hope you guys uh, liked the video, uh, and I shall see you guys the next time I do a tutorial. And I apologize for missing last week's video. I had a lot to do, finals, and I have a big project coming up for uh, my history class for high school. So once I get all that finished and turned in, I shall definitely start reeling in the videos. Plus... Uh, summer's coming and a lot of people are going to be busy so I'll try to keep active and keep these videos posted but for now this is Cloak Spear and I shall see you guys next time bye